growing up in the inner city of Chicago to selling out comedy shows across the country. Comedian, actor, and podcast host Corey Holcomb has been in the entertainment industry for more than 30 years. Now you can experience his honest and edgy comedy for yourself tomorrow at the House of Blues Las Vegas. But first, Corey joins us now. Welcome, Corey. Hey, what's up? I'm doing a lot of blinking and everything, so everybody know it ain't a clone. You know? <laughs> Yeah, that you're not it's you're not me, AI, right? <laughs> right. It's, it's me. I'm chilling. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, look, let's get right into it. Let's get into your career journey cuz it's been one, right? Did you know you were always destined yes. for this kind of career? Yes, I did. I I know that uh eventually the cream rises to the top, so you know, it's it's you know, the way God has given it to me, he's given it to me, rationing it out piece by piece, but I can appreciate the whole thing. That's amazing. Now, a lot of things have changed over the years, you know, and you're in the in the comedy industry. So what do you think about the current state of the comedy industry? I think it's terrible that everybody's scared to speak from the heart and the fact that there's so much um, demand for content. A lot of the people are seeing people who are not ready to show their content people who got famous off the internet, et cetera, they're not ready to be in front of the big stage, but they are because these content um, needing um, channels and everything, they'll put anybody on. But it's still a blessing for them and I wish them the best. Absolutely. Now, what can people expect when they come to a Corey Holcomb show and what do you think keeps your fans coming back? Uh, the truth. The truth is something that is an agent against me but it's an agent for me in a bigger way. You know, sometimes when you tell the truth to people, like you work in a work environment, if you're honest at work, you can be a problem at work. But with my job, I'm able to be honest at work and there really is no repercussions because I'm not hooked up with none of the big mega companies anyway. So Corey Holcomb gets to be Corey Holcomb. I love that. You know how this corporate life can be though sometimes. <laughs> oh, trust me, I know. <laughs> well, you're known for giving relationship advice during your set. So we're wondering if you can share some now. What should couples talk about before tying the knot? Well, tying the knot is a big mistake. And trust me, I'm, I'm learning the hard way about that, tying the knot, even though I wish everybody the best. But this is what you have to understand. I'm going to try to break it down real quick, real quick. Mm -hmm. Every relationship you're in, well, I won't say every, 90% of the relationships you're in, it's borrowed time. It normally doesn't last forever. So before you take anybody seriously and lend them more than $50, you need to really reevaluate who you're dealing with. Man, well, I guess uh, it's too late for me because I already done tied the knot. <laughs> well, can I say something? I'm going to tell you something about that. Yeah. You could tie the knot and the relationship will probably be up to you because you're an attractive girl. So most of the guys, or if you got a husband or whatever, he's not gonna wanna leave you because you're an attractive girl. But it's a lot of girls out here who are not attractive and bye bye baby. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm joking with God. Oh my God. Well, look, look, talk to us about the 5150 <laughs> show. We gonna jump right off of that one. <laughs> hey man, 5150 show is an opportunity that, um, I kind of created where I'm allowed to speak from the heart and the people around the world see that and it has helped me grow into a man who can take care of himself by doing something he loves so it's not even really work for me. I just get a chance to show up and show everybody how much game I got in this situation that we're dealing with on the relationship side. Okay, and before we go, <laughs> you've got a lot of stuff going on. What else do you have coming your way? Hey, listen, there's opportunities that are brewing for me. And I've learned the hard way, like when you say it before it's all set in stone, you kind of jinx yourself. But the world has taken notice to Corey Holcomb by people who repost things I say. I appreciate everybody who does that. And I want everybody to know that, you know, this week in Vegas, I'm going to do something that, you know, isn't typical when you go to comedy show. And I also wanna let all the girls in there know if they wanna earn some money while I'm in town, they can get my number when the interview is over. <laughs> 
Stop it. Oh, my goodness. Well, look, I wish we had more time this morning because we're having too much fun. For more information on Corey, visit the website right there on your screen. And to purchase your tickets, you can also visit LiveNation.com.